the Mad Rock Drifter. These things are almost antiques at this point. Uh, I want to tell you guys why I think these are one of the best beginner shoes on the market right now and back when I got them in 2014. Um, if you guys like content like this, subscribe, like, and uh, comment down below and uh, stick around to the end of the video. Hey everyone, Brian here with some more Bomber Beta. Today we're checking out the Mad Rock Drifter. This thing comes in at $75 on Amazon right now. Uh, you can get this uh, model, which is kind of gray and black, and then they have one that's red and blue. So, this is my first pair of climbing shoes I ever got. Um, it's over six years old at this point, and it's held up really well. Um, Normally I do a kind of grading scale on like what makes a shoe good, but in this case, uh, since this is probably going to be your first pair of shoes, I wouldn't suggest buying this if you already have a pair of shoes, but if you're wearing gym rental shoes right now and you're looking to upgrade or looking just to get something that you can put a little miles in, these Mad Rock Drifters are a really good option. Um, they're not the best shoe out there, they're far from it, but they're very simple and they're very comfortable and they come in handy and and you can wear these for years and years they're they're fairly stiff so they're going to fit kind of like a rental shoe but they're going to have much better performance um the heel is very good i think i mean this is a heel if you start heel hooking in this and you start using a toe box that's shaped like that with this style with this stiffness i mean you're going to be able to transition into shoes that are $200 plus in six months to a year and feel right at home. And these things have come in handy for me over the years. I've worn these things deep water soloing. I've worn them to the gym on days that I'm just trying to do mileage, like if I'm on top rope, just doing like audible stuff, or if I'm just on like a tread wall or something like that, there I just want to kind of do a lot of climbing, but not really wear out my more expensive shoes, then these are perfect. And uh, they have a very simple Velcro closure here. So you open that up and you can get uh, your feet all the way in there. And you can see uh, all that uh, gnarly foot juice in there from uh, all those hours and hours of gym sessions I've put in with these things. Um, and like I said, this little pull tabs, beautiful heel. I mean, this heel is actually like a good heel that could be used in cases where you need a, a heel hook, a uh, cruxy thing. Uh, the shoe is almost perfectly flat after all this wear, so it's, it's held up really well. It's got a fairly stiff midsole, but it, there is some give. Like, I can definitely flex this. Um, so it's going to be a little more comfortable and kind of conform to your feet as you climb on different angles and stuff like that. Um, the durability is wonderful on this. Like this, is, these have not been resold, nor do they really need a resole. I mean, the toe cap has worn away, but that's most likely due to me dragging my toes as an inexperienced climber. Um, a little too much so that's okay and that's not going to affect the performance of this shoe this toe box is totally fine right now this one's a little bit more worn out but that's not that's not a deal breaker in my opinion a little bit of d-lam there and uh, cracking in the rubber but i mean these things are six years old if you go and buy a pair of nikes from a running store right now they'll probably <laughs> fall apart in like two years from just sitting uh, on the ground. I mean, these things have lasted the years. Uh, Mad Rock's a good company, and there's really no reason not to get these. There's a few other on the market that are good. I'll say I don't have them right now, but if you if budget is not an issue, I would highly recommend the Scarpa Force. Those are amazing shoes. They're super comfortable. They have really good rubber and really good padding. I've rented those things many times at uh, climbing competitions to do like volume days, and I love those shoes. But they're well over $100, whereas these are 75. So if you're just trying, you're not quite sure, 
maybe you don't have a gym membership yet. Maybe your two-week uh, trial membership is coming up and you're just going to get a punch pass. These are great. If you guys are looking for the best beginner climber shoes out there, these are a very good option. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, subscribe down below if you like content like this and I'll catch you in the next one.